talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com, and Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. Good morning, everybody, and it is a joy for us to be with you today, and we are grateful that you have chosen today to join us, whether you are listening via the radio, streaming online, or with the Iowa Catholic Radio app. Welcome in. Amen. Well, let's start with our prayer, should yeah, we? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Name the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, it feels a little. Summer is Mm -hmm. here and it's wonderful. And I hope it's all nice where you are today, too. Mm -hmm. Loving the weather today. Just puts a spring in your step, doesn't it? Yes. And speaking of step, it makes me want to go out and do my Mary Walk miles. That's right. Have you been doing them? I have been doing them. A lot of them inside, though. I know. On the elliptical. Yes. Um, Our little group walked for the first time Monday night. The weather was nice and it was Mm. really nice. We prayed the rosary and then visited afterwards and great community builder it is a great community builder caught up on my neighbor's lives it's like you all hibernate in the winter and then now we're kind of coming out and catching up (laughs) (laughs) i was just saying that to a neighbor the other day i said well haven't seen you for a while he goes it's the weather isn't it and it keeps us all inside yeah it sure does well we've got a a great show we always say that but then um I think we do have some good guests, and we've gotten good feedback from people about our guests. But today we have a priest on our show, Father Chris Scythe, and he's from... Young the, priest. He's a young priest. He was just ordained in 2014, uh-huh. and he's from the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. Um, you're probably wondering, how did we find this young priest? Well, I was at a tea out in D.C. Uh, on you know, a couple of weeks ago, and he and his mother spoke at the tea on the feminine genius. Well... His mother's not going to be with us today, but he has agreed to join us to talk about the feminine genius, particularly, you know, how it impacts him in his spiritual fatherhood as a priest. You know what? Anytime you can get a priest's perspective on a female issue, I think it's interesting because we have our own thoughts as women. Right. But, but what does the church say? You know, what, yeah. what's the church think about it? I love it. And I always like to hear what men think. Matter of fact, I think I asked him when we were talking to him earlier. So is there a male genius? <laughs> Has anybody talked about a male genius yet? No, not yet. No, well, not quite. And I also think it's um, helpful for us to see the perspective that the priest has from where he sits, a court, you know, quote, sits from where the church is, you know, looking out on the congregation mm-hmm. and, and just seeing how he can see the female helping build the church up. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and, and, and in his own life, too. Yes, in his yeah, own life, personally too. with his family and all. So that'll be, it'll be fun to talk to him today. And then just a little reminder that John Lee and Eddie and Iowa Catholic Radio are taking people with them on the Blessman Ministry International Pilgrimage to South Africa, August 1st through the 13th. If you want to go to Africa with us, people, go to iowacatholicradio.com and get yourself signed up. I know they're still taking signups. It's so. an amazing trip. It's mm-hmm. an amazing trip. And a mission trip is, it will change you forever. That's It'll right. change you forever. Yes. And if you want to have any, if you have any comments or questions for our guests today, you can text us at 515-223-1150. Yeah. Get those phones out and start texting away here. We love to hear from you. Yeah, we had a, a good string of texts a week or so ago, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We did a great response. Yeah, yeah. And thank you to Cindy Schulte of Far Bureau Financial Services for underwriting our show, Catholic Women Now. Cindy is an independent agent. She and her team provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. And right now she has on her website, if you go on and look, a little quiz to make sure that you are up to date with what your insurance needs nice. are doing for you. Yeah. So, you know, you don't even have to give her a call. You can just go online and kind of check it out for yourself. But so my stuff is, you know, what I have going on, doing what I need it to be doing today. So anyway, you can go and see that at cindyschulte.com or you can call her at 515-226-2111 if you have any more questions. Well, we want to welcome in our guest today, Father Chris Scythe. He attended the North American College in Rome. He is a priest in the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. He was there ordained in 2014, and currently he's pursuing a, pursuing a master's in moral theology at Catholic University of America. So, Father Chris, welcome to Catholic Women Now. Thank you. Good to be with you all. Well, it's good to have you. Thank you for being brave to join us. <laughs> 
Absolutely. All of, all of us women out here wanting to know just what you think about yeah. the feminine yeah. genius. <laughs> don't <laughs> no say, don't, don't, and no missteps allowed today, right? right. right. Oh, yeah. gosh. <laughs> well, let's just start with just defining what the feminine genius is so we get this foundation from what we're working from today in the show. Sure. So the feminine genius, uh, the, the phrase was kind of uh, coined by St. John Paul. Um, and in a couple of different writings, uh, Moliere's Didn't You Taught Them and his letter to women in 1995, he used this term, and he puts it in the context of how we normally think of progress uh, in a, a scientific or technological point of view, right? So often we think of progress as, okay, our ability to master creation and to, to kind of come to a, a way of changing things so that we can live more comfortable lives and have more gadgets and different things. And John Paul said that women have this amazing ability to recognize that real human flourishing, real human progress is not so much in the technological sphere as in the social sphere uh, and in the ethical sphere, that the women have this innate sense that the human being is more than how he can dominate things and more how he can enter into a relationship uh, with people. Well, this kind of leads us into the next idea here that, um, you know, through salvation history, you know, we see it with Eve in the garden. Satan is attacking women all the time. Yeah, from Eve to, yeah. to, to now. Yeah, yeah. to now, mm-hmm. especially now in today's culture, culture. So how do you see Satan at, um, targeting? Why is Satan targeting women so, so much? <laughs> yeah. why, why are we in the fire all the time? <laughs> I know, right? Um, no, I mean, from the very beginning, right, we read that... Uh, God says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. That there's this real hatred that Satan has for women. And I think it's because women, in many ways, uh, manifest the crowning of creation, right? When you're making something, uh, the last thing that you make is what you have first in mind, right? I like to bake, so if I'm making a pie or something, the last thing that actually comes out of the oven is the finished pie, and that's the first thing I have in mind. So it's the same thing kind of with God creating uh, the world. What's the crowning of creation? The last thing he has in mind, or the first thing he has in mind, is the woman. And the reason is because he wants all of creation to be this place where his love is received. And woman represents this crowning, this ability to receive God's love fully. And Satan really hates that. Um, He hates creation. He hates himself because he wants to be enough for himself. He doesn't want to have to receive God's love for fulfillment and for flourishing. And so he hates that the beauty of women in representing this this place where God's love can be so received uh, so easily, so readily. Um, And so he's constantly just trying to desecrate uh, the beauty of of women and what they have to offer and what they have to show uh, us of God's plan in the world. I think that's so interesting, your comment about the fact that he wants to be enough for himself. And I think that that's a message that has seeped into our society Mm -hmm. as well. You know, Uh to love myself should be enough. You know, mm-hmm. the love of self should be enough, and, and it never yeah. is. I mean, all, we have songs out there. I remember Whitney Houston sang a song like that. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, we have to have the love of God. We don't understand we're not complete without him. And it all depends on us. Mm-hmm. It all depends yeah, on that, us. You right. know, that's the other thing, and it's that whole power thing of Satan wanting power. That's just what he, he exactly. lusts after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... We're going to take a quick break here. We're talking right now with Father Chris Scythe, and when we come back, we're going to ask you, Father... How do we fight against that? How do we fight against his ways and recognize his tactics to avoid that? So um, we'll be back in a sec. Thank you, Divine Treasures, for your support of Storm Alert Weather. Divine Treasures is a Catholic book and gift store serving the Des Moines community for over 25 years. Their mission is to help Catholics know, love, and keep their faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and his church. Divine Treasures is where you find great Catholic books, beautiful Bibles, rosaries, jewelry, statues, and religious gifts for those memorable events in your life. 5701 Hickman Road in Des Moines, 515-255-5230. 
Thank you to Mercy College of Health Sciences, downtown Des Moines, for underwriting our show, The Uncommon Good, with me, Bo Bonner. And I'm Bud Marr. A degree from Mercy College provides endless possibilities. Students have access to patients with complex medical conditions, state-of-the-art medical facilities, highly motivated healthcare professionals, and classroom professors that transform them into servant leaders. You can start the programs in fall, spring, or summer. There are endless possibilities available online at mchs.edu slash kwky. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Impoverished children break everyone's heart, but poverty seems like such a big problem. What can one person do to make a difference? For 17 years, Blessman International's passion has been to connect the resources of our donors with sustainable programs that impact the lives of impoverished children in South Africa. Our donors are feeding thousands of hungry children every week, providing basic water and sanitation for impoverished communities, and sharing the love of God in practical ways every day. Go to www.blessmaninternational.org and make your donation today. Welcome back. You're listening to Catholic Women Now with Chris Magruder and Julie Nelson. We're speaking this morning with Father Chris Seif. And Father, we were just talking about how Satan, you know, is always trying to hurt women, target women. And what I wanted to ask you is, how do we fight against that? Yeah, (laughs) it's a great question. Um, So I think one is just recognizing his tactics in our world, uh, really important, Um, so the first thing is one of the ways that he tries to um, to just destroy the, the feminine genius is by making what women, the unique gift that they have to offer, seem to be something um, weak and to equate their ability to receive love with weakness. Um, again, he's obsessed with power. And so, and we see this so often how he does this where women are so often reduced to, I mean, you know, for example, a sex status in you know, entertainment or in advertising, and in some um, in some countries, just baby machines. You know, and, and, yeah, and, they, and yeah. that and that's just it. They put the word "just baby machines" in front of us. It's when it's this beautiful miracle that we are allowed to work with God to bring people into the world. Wow, right, and yeah, these just these subtle lies that he takes. Right, Satan takes a half truth and, and blows it out of proportion, and. Um, and so he really tries to equate uh, this beauty of women with um, with weakness. And so I think one thing we have to do is just recognize, okay, well, the, the answer then cannot be to try to um, resist this with power, right? Not to fight uh, fire with fire. So I, I think, at least in my own life, what I have found is women who are very secure in who they are and who demand respect, from men especially, and yet at the same time are able to receive that respect. I think that's really important to fight against this, to say, okay, no, I know who I am, and yet I know who I am in God, not in myself. And so fighting against Satan's tactics of power with this receiving God's love, and so knowing, um, you know, a woman knowing her security in the, the Father's love, and so not settling for less than that, but also able to receive that love when it's given. You know, the person I think of who who is per- perfect in doing that is the Blessed Mother. As, I mean, as an example and a witness. Boy, does she know who she is, right? Right. She knows who, <laughs> she's, a, she's the ultimate Catholic woman, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, and especially, I mean, her, her great hymn of praise for God begins, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Um, you know, there's no, like, there's no sense of, of weakness there. She knows who she is. My soul proclaims the greatness, and yet she says, you know, that it proclaims the greatness of the Lord uh, and not of herself, that she's totally aware of her dignity, and yet that it's rooted in, in her relationship with God. Her witness definitely fosters that kind of sense of our God-given femininity. How can we look at her, would you say, and, and help our church overall heal? Yeah, um, gosh, that's, 
you know, the question, right? I think, um, especially just in light of this last year, all the scandals that have broken, um, being in Washington, D.C., this has really affected um, the church here. Mm. And so we've been looking to, okay, well, how do we how do we bounce back from this? And I know that some priests um, have talked about how it's going to be women that heal the church, not men. Mm-hmm. And I always get a little uneasy with that, uh, because God created us male and female. <laughs> I agree, um, yep. You know, it's we're it, complementary roles. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So we're going to do this together. It's not going to happen at all. Um, and so I, I think one of the ways that women uh, are able to, uh, among many ways, but I know one way is helping priests be real fathers who are going to lay down their lives to protect the sheep from the wolves. Um, I think. You know, women have this ability to draw sacrificial love out of men. Um, <laughs> by nature, we're we're pretty inclined. Guys can be pretty inclined to do nothing. You know? <laughs> um, by I should say, by fallen nature, right? right. Um, wounded by sin. So uh, my my dad likes to tell the story that when I was like ten years old, uh, they were just struggling to get me to do my homework or to get me to do anything, and I would say, "Listen." I just want to do the bare minimum possible to get by. <laughs> I raised three boys. I can relate. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so my dad just appreciated the, the honesty of that 10-year-old response of what many men feel. is like, I don't want to sacrifice myself. I just want to do the bare minimum. And I think women, you know, the beauty of women, we see how crazy uh, men become to sacrifice themselves in order to protect and kind of win the heart of a woman. Um, it's great. The, the great adventure stories are all about, you know, these, these men laying down their lives and pursuing great things for the sake of a woman's love and to protect her honor. Um, and I think uh, at one way uh, among many that women can help uh, in the church, and I'm saying this again from a priest's perspective, is just to draw that uh, love out of their priests. So to ask and to receive the love of Christ from their priests. And there's nothing that makes us want to proclaim the beauty of the gospel and its integrity um, and to really fight against the horrors of of Satan's attack on the Church. Nothing more than uh, when women really ask for that in a certain sense, you know, Um, to say, hey, we need Jesus, and we need it, Jesus from you, Father. Mm, uh, that, is, that draws mm, fatherhood. Yes. Ask them. Just yes, ask them. Yeah. And yeah. pray for them. With the yeah. Seven Sisters Apostle, it helps pray for them yes, as well. That's right. Yeah. Well, this is Catholic Women Now, and we're going to be back with our guest, Father Chris Scythe, after this break. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Thank you, Blessed International, for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Everyone lives their life 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. How we use that time directly affects if our life will leave a significant impact or not. Each year, Blessed International leads Central Iowans on a 12-day, all-inclusive experience sharing the heart of Christ with children in South Africa. Teams are forming to do something significant in an African child's life. Learn more at BlessedInternational.org. That's BlessedInternational.org. Thank you, Big Red Q Quick Print, for underwriting the sports report. Family owned and operated since 1980, Big Red Q Quick Print is a full service print shop ready to help you with all your printing needs with speed and accuracy. Forms, manuals, brochures, letterhead, envelopes, business cards, custom invitations, design, and bindery. Big Red Q Quick Print, located across from Merle Hay Mall. Online at bigredq Des Moines.com. Big Red Q Quick Print. We make printing easy. 
Thank you, Dental Associates, for underwriting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. With over 40 years' experience, Dental Associates is a group dental practice with the mission of promoting optimum health and well-being to all patients, providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic dentistry for the entire family. Message underwritten by Dr. Kenton Gleichman, Dr. Steve Carbaca, Dr. Christine Mulcahy, and Dr. Ben Nagel. Dental Associates, addressing your smile, needs, and dreams. Online at Des Moines-DentalAssociates.com. Well, hello, and thank you for joining us here and welcoming back. We're t- speaking with Father Chris Seif about feminine genius. And just before the break, Father, you were talking a little bit about how women can be more receptive to Jesus through, you know, you know, through the priest. And that kind of reminded me of a thought that kind of came from you, that there is a crisis of fatherhood in the church, both in our families but in the priesthood, especially with the abuse crisis that's happened. And a lot of lay people are hesitant to approach preachers priests and i was just thinking how beautiful that women as our feminine genius have this receptivity that when you when you offer confession that when you offer mass and and, in persona christi that we need to be open and to go and receive that and i think women can set an example of that and we can kind of coax our husbands into doing that and our children and (laughs) coax them coax them you know and i think that's so beautiful but also i you know one of the things that you shared with us you had a just a beautiful personal story of the blessed mother and your and how you see your priesthood today through what example that came through your family and we'd love for you to share that with our listeners sure no so i was really blessed uh growing up my it's funny talking about this was a blessing but my mom I was pretty young um ended up she she i was diagnosed with a connective tissue disorder and she was bedridden for nine months before they could figure out just how to to get the pain under control um so she has a ton of health issues she you know, we'll just dislocate. Uh, sometimes, you know, when we're hanging out, if she's laughing too much, her ribs might, you know, dislocate or whatever. And mm. so things like that. And um, my dad, you know, had totally, it totally shifted his marriage. The, the marriage he was expecting to enter into with this woman um, changed a lot. Uh, he had to take on more responsibilities, and he was really forced, simply by being faithful to his marriage vows, forced to come out of himself. Um, and to lay his life down in more and more heroic ways out of love for his wife. And seeing that witness of my dad more and more being stripped of himself in love for his wife um, has been a huge witness for me in terms of, okay, in the midst of the church and her just being wounded and and sickened by the sins, um, okay, I need to be faithful to my my vows in order to lay my life down, and that this will turn me more and more into an image of Christ who laid down his life for the church on the cross. I was just so blessed growing up seeing the witness of my mom, who received my my dad's love, and my dad, who was uh, willing to let himself uh, very much be stripped in order to uh, to give up himself more fully. That wow. is... When I when you share this story, all I think of is Saint John Paul II talking about that self-donating love, taking the love from yeah. self and giving it to the others at the service for their their greater good of their soul. Mm-hmm. And I and I want to thank you, Father, for your your commitment to that and for your desire for that and acting on that desire and your holiness to to pursue that for us, the church. And we're very grateful for that. You know that you. that please is pray for me. <laughs> yeah, that, we will be praying for you and all our listeners. Please pray for and that all is our priests that's and heroic priests. love. That's and heroic. All love. of our priests, if they live out their priesthood rightly, is is a heroic love. Uh-huh. Mm. I think of the bride and the bridegroom. You know that 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 analogy and marriage is an analogy to understand that. But then for you, Father, you know, and the bride and the bridegroom with the church as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, what very a, beautiful. What a powerful story. Yeah. Well, Father Chris, we are so grateful you came to join us today here on Catholic Women Now and speaking about feminine genius. I just want to kind of wrap this up by saying we talked about women being helping to heal the church as well as men. But I think as women, sometimes we look around like, where do we start? And I just love what you said to us earlier this week about we just start with the person in front of us, just like mm-hmm. Mother Teresa. Yeah. Love the person in front of you. So and and go from there. Mm-hmm. So, well, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us today. Good to be with you. Have a blessed day. Thank you, too. God bless you. Thank you. 
Catholic Women Now is grateful for the support of Mr. Haas, attorney at law. Mr. Haas is dedicated to providing personal and highly responsive legal services to people who have suffered an injury. 515-256-6301 or 888-338-6535, fredhaas.com, Fred, double D, Haas, double A. And don't forget, we have a golf outing coming out June 14th at uh, Blank Golf Course. Um, Chris and I will be there. We've only golfed once in our life, so it should be a great hoot, if anything, a comedy uh, show if you want to <laughs> have one. I have I have golfed more than once. I'm just not any better than as if I've only golfed once. <laughs> I think maybe I need to go out and do a few practice swings so just I know how to hold yeah, the club. Yeah, my son, if he's listening, he, he's going to have to be giving me some new lessons again. Uh, and also, we have the... Uh, radio streaming now on on iowa catholic radio the as la- iowa catholic radio has launched an internet positive radio station so you can listen through the app or at iowacatholicradio.com yeah hey let's go out in prayer here all right in the father and the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask you to come into our hearts today and touch us in a special way with a love so deep and a love so personal that we can take that love and through that love that you give to us we can give it to others and show others to lead you to the lead them to you, Lord Jesus. We ask this all in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is prayed at 5.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 9.30 p.m., so it'll be coming up next, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for listening, and we continue to ask you to consider making a $30 a month tax-deductible gift to Iowa Catholic Radio so that we can continue to teach, evangelize, and defend our Catholic faith. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. And Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder every Thursday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. On the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. 1150 a.m., 88.5 f.m., and 94.5 f.m. And on the Iowa Catholic Radio app. Iowa Catholic Radio. Radio.